Hey, welcome to the War of the Worlds. I hope you've got a butt seat ready to, for the most part, sit back and hold space, hold that time, hold that space. Uh, for those that know how to do so with you, uh, while you watch the the show play out this week, um, you know it's another it's another scene, another set, but the same show rolling out for sure. So this is the tarot, the guidance for the week ahead of the energies uh, that are predominant uh, that you might find within you, around you, or for the most part within others. But it's given guidance of how you deal with that whichever way it falls for you. Take what resonates, leave what does not. I appreciate the comments and thank you for the subscribers yesterday. I really appreciate those of you that, that came over. It was a great show with Trina and Wayne. Much missed, much loved, much needed. So let's get into it for the week ahead. So again, we have are you, any surprises here. You know, take a deep breath. You might be shocked. Five of Wands. And so this speaks of um conflict. It's that whole fire on the water thing, the inability to channel the emotions and the fire sits on top of that water uh, in the various different cards um, in different ways. And, and the, the Five of Wands is that uh, conflict, uh, distraction, um, distraction from your main cause, whether it's your own individual main purpose or cause, or whether it's a uh, grander purpose, grander cause. Uh, there's distraction from it. There is just, uh, there's no winners. There's no particular losers. It is just um, a, a waste of energy. It, it's, it really is sometimes necessary to see where the imbalance is is lying and where it where it's sitting. Um, but as far as alchemy goes, as far as any mastery goes, uh, the five of of wands is is a card that you watch for. It's a card that you um, are careful and self reflective and um, not self justifying, uh, particularly to not fall into this energy for any great length of time. Um, to yeah, you're going to get wrapped up in the five of wands every now and again. You, you know, you would have to be living on top of the mountains, um, you know, humming to nature 24-7 with monks. And still, I, I swear to you, there'll be some, you know, thought conflict in those spaces. Very little compared to where we are, but, you know, there will be. And so this five of wands, it is for the master to look out for, to not fall into for too long because, um, you know, you take the hits from it, you take the energy from it only for insight, really, in that this would be against all um, foundation of alchemy uh, and the mastery of such. Um, alchemy being uh, the need for purification in order to apply the raw product to our compounds to each other and to other things. This energy doesn't lead to any kind of purification. This fire is it's it's aimed in the wrong direction. So it's always firing up against uh for the most part illusionary or distractionary target. And so it, it, it breaks that one of the main rules of um, not entering into confusion for the alchemist um, and the master, the sage, whatever, but that level um, to not enter into a state of confusion. Um, and if you do have, have ways and means of getting out of that confusion real quick, uh, confusion is a very spiritually, consciously, subconsciously, very dodgy playground. Uh, confusion is houses the most distorted parts of self, houses the most distorted beings, uh, attracts the most um, egregious entities. Uh, you know, it, it's it's a space that is is not of 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 growth of anything that would be deemed uh, beautiful. Confusion is a sadness. It's a, 
it's a place I I, I rarely enter into um, and would be very specific what kind of confusion I would enter into to save a loved one even because it's um, on the spiritual plane and the unseen it is it's the space of sadness as well it, it, it carries the same sort of energy as as watching um somebody suffer with alzheimer's dementias um where memory is lost or memory is so distorted and misplaced that it can no longer be applied with wisdom to any part of 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 life of growth um and with that it's the it's the confusion is the slow decay it, and and we've been in this slow decay from this hijack not so long ago in the grand scheme of things uh you know we've been in this state of uh, of sl slow decay and and we're we're seeing the crescendo of it and that would be the five as well um the five being the hump day the 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 middle point the 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 top of the mountain where you sort of decide to either split and roll down separate sides or or like make an intent to to go down another or you know to really um stay stuck on, on the top of that mountain and the five of wands is like is this the hill you want to die on um is this the hill that it's worth uh sacrificing uh life you your life force and so this is where it breaks the one of the ultimate rules of alchemy alongside not entering into a state of confusion but it it also breaks that rule of uh, this 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 type of of um waste of life force uh if you think of of your energy and where you put in that energy as a sacred form a, a life force um and you allow your emotions to be triggered by external forces or unhealed, un, un, unreflected self, inner self, um, and conflicts. If you allow that energy, that energy that can create worlds, that can that can do enormous and magnificent things, that can do that in a in a stroke of kindness and care and compassion, um can strike a, a reverberation of kindness that follows through from that one person you're kind to or that one kind thing that you do that grows. This would be putting your energy into that that five, that space where it is taking that five, that five, all of the elements and 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 putting it into a a a empty vat or worse still a vat that contains energy that then can be refocused retargeted in a way that is detrimental to creativity and growth and what that life force in that sacred form and its starting point should have been uh, it, it should have never been sacrificed to that type of altar and so this is for you to to see those energies uh, not just around you but within you um, really have that time to self-reflect. Now, this conflict, for the most part, looking from the out, from the inside out, um, with this tower card coming in to clarify it, major arcana tower card, and you see there that the the dragon is sort of you know squeezing at the tower. Uh, the fire has been set. The divine lightning from the top that is that is. Uh, dropping down like like Thor's hammer on on the eagle on the crown that's been set. So or everything that ordained this tower is is being shed away, or it's moving away naturally, or there are conflicts uh, ensuing, and and it is actually um, pushing pushing you away from because you see that conflict and think oh shit now the energy and the guidance here would be to literally take notice of that oh shit feeling and and some of you will be looking from the inside out and thinking no not you don't it be don't don't let it be you don't say it ain't so <laughs> you know that that it's you or that it's this organization or that it's this charity or the that it's this relationship don't please don't but you know it is time to be that adept and and to 
realize that even when it's in the case of loved ones or something that you're really attached to or that you've really given yourself to a charity or, or an organization or or a belief system um you know be it's it's of the adept to to be brave enough right now to to see that even to recognize that sacred principle of the life force to recognize what it's what's at detriment here so even if you were to try and bend and sort of say i'll just dip i'll just dip a shoulder into your conflict and see if i can push things out the way for you that way or i'll just because then it'll be an elbow then it'll be a you know, a chest, then it'll be a, a fist, then it'll be, you know, so that's how this energy works. It's like, don't go in that revolving door. Don't don't get uh, squeezed up by that dragon because you will be not the tower then standing strong, all of the elements and all of the things that ordained it being taken away by those elements. Um, You will then, because you won't be standing in your tower you won't be standing in your spine, your truth, your your reverence for life, whether it be your sacred life force or another, that you would look at this situation, no matter the characters that, um, that are interpreting these energies of the five of wands, no matter who they are to you um, or what they are to you, what they represent, um, that you sacred life force has to come before even that because it, it's no good putting that sacred life force into something um that is wantingly and willingly entering into a state of mental illness into a state of confusion and and distraction and and um an unfocused filter on life and so that there is lots coming crashing down lots of lots of things lots of crowns that ordain things that there's there's huge um the yes we knew there'd be threats but i mean there's huge um big tactical plans and i'm being careful what i say here you know it's it's no um joke that you know the 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 person who tries to call themselves king um or has been named as king is is asking for this oath um and that's via the church and that the church is putting that forward that is it that that is a dark oath it, it, it's it's a seal it's a a real opportunity for us to not take that oath would be a real um adept move in in moving away from distraction from labels from conflict um that is uh for the gains of of quenching life rather than growing it on those on that day the uh, uh, the skies will will be black there'll be something that that shadows over the the people who are there um something that uh, and it's something it's a calling of the under earth so to speak that's what it feels like it's a drawing in uh, of a curtain over the sky that's what it feels like um and i don't just think that will be represented spiritually where a lot of us will feel it like oh there you know like really that, that's strong um it, I think that that's that will be palpable enough and strong enough that it's reflected in the in the the sky we physically see. Um, yeah, so there is there's there's huge tactics here that that um there's been a new law rushed in today about the the the, the rights to protest and whatnot in in the wake of the tactics that the the real mi5 um and various other cia you know because this involves so many leaders um and they're taking that oath you know they're they're taking that oath they they're putting in putting their hats into that play of of this label being then justified and and sealed uh that's part of this tower and this five of wands conflict there will be a distraction um a distractionary attack a distractionary something i'm not even going to say any more specific words i really am not um 
in order to try and carry out this very strategic plan to actually knock a physical crown off a tower, you know. Um, maybe it needs to be seen. I'm not gonna not gonna do it. I'm not gonna say anymore. <laughs> page of uh, swords as the next card for the energies of the week, and the page of swords is turning away actually from this five of wands on the tower. It's it's putting its sword, its words, uh, the swords being words, thoughts thoughts, intellect, um, information gathering, um, information sharing, uh, to put in its sword, its truth, it, its clarity um, into the opposite direction of the conflict, uh, recognising that no matter what label that conflict comes under, uh, whatever truth movement, whatever group, whatever, whatever it comes under, if you're feeling and seeing this conflictory energy, uh, you don't put that sacred, those sacred thoughts, because the only place, the only thing this is really attracting, like a magnet right now, is the distorted, is the disfigured, is the um, conditioned thought process. And so you, you don't want to dip your sword into a dirty bath I know that I don't know you know who needed to hear that maybe set on some other level of, of resonating with somebody but you know you, you don't speak your truth you don't you don't you know cast your pearls before swine um you know you don't uh, you don't do that you, you you have to put that away from the in in the other other direction clarifying that is the two of pentacles and this is where it's difficult in the, the two of pentacles typically in the more traditional decks are it's a man standing on one leg much like the full position and the hangman um ju while juggling the pentacles the two worlds the where the two material sides of life meet and and sometimes collide and sometimes um i'm just going to pause this for one second because my daughter's ringing uh, how do i do that again it's been so long pause recording it's my daughter so i needed to check what out uh if she was okay so page of swords not dipping your sword in an empty vat the two worlds two pentacles juggling you can only do that for so long particularly on one foot and so this is where you know you you keep spreading yourself thinner and thinner and thinner and that that figure of eight uh and and the meeting point uh the eternal juggle uh, and and we, this is more on a spiritual level also where uh we're we're existing in different um manifestation stages of manifestation we're existing even from the fact of of say soul um spirit mind all of those being different sort of dimensions in themselves in their own right different bodies of self different manifestations and reflections of self but see we're already you know sort of finding a way to bridge uh, and that that is to be eternal to be um you know able to keep that balance enough but that takes a lot of practice it takes that's part of the game i think it's part of the process um and you think why what people want a purpose to that process well why not <laughs> Uh, this is life it, it is balancing things out it's balancing compounds elements but this is pentacles and so as a reflection that being aside in this stage in this realm it, we do tend to have to be uh, juggling more and more and more and in the name of the freedoms that we've that we've gained um have actually taken away from life force and where we can put it um, for any given amount of time uh, because that juggle is real you know juggle between childcare, work and jobs and commitments and this and that uh, and 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 time zones even that there is a lot of juggling to be had a lot of material aspects that at this point um, put in that sword into severing the worlds that are, are 
weighing you down, that are putting you off your juggle game, that are taken away from the reflection of you, of what you really are and what your purpose is, what the goal is here. And so it really being uh, quite pragmatic about energies and elements and how you apply them with wisdom um, and how that reflects not from a um, cold space, but from an unconditioned more loving space, a more unconditioned love of actually having the sacred and and reverence um, approach to elements, the, to the building blocks, you know, and letting that reflect from within to the without. Uh, so really, you know, don't dip your sword or cross your sword in any unsustainable uh, juggles. So we have the Queen of Cups and she is on her throne. She has uh, one foot showing there and she has the other one hidden under a robe and she's got like this chalice that she's um, concentrating on that she, there's one gloved hand that holds the chalice and and one ungloved hand that holds the chalice so there's there's creating a, a connectiveness of, of, of a, a channeling um of a with the gloved hand for this day for this week the gloved hand to me is coming through as a uh, a, a hand that protects from a poisoning of the chalice. Uh, you know how you use a gloved hand to look at old books because you don't want um, uh, sweat or any other kind of debris that you might be carrying on your hands uh, getting onto the ink it, uh, that can't be fully restored uh, in any way. You want to, to preserve it, so you use a gloved hand the things that you need to preserve the integrity of and so that's coming through very loud and clear for me for this reading of the week of the energies of you know approach your elements of of your emotional body um with enough reverence of their ability to retain memory um to restore memory to flow to give life to to literally watch what that does when you put crystals in water that you grow plants in rather than not. The the impact of the purification, um, the the work that's put in to protect uh, that part of self um, from a distorted mind, from its distorted external forces, uh, from all things. This is a these these are are your inner waters, your inner ocean. Um, so there's a peace and a calmness and a purity that you so you approach your emotions like the alchemist, as an alchemist, as the adept, with um reverence for its own being, that it does not need to be um poisoned, it does not need to have those energies or thoughts dripped into it we want to retain the raw pure pure state of the emotions and the raw pure state of the emotions without conditioning uh, would look very different to this five of wands that we're seeing continuously it would look very different to how emotions are then turned into fire and what kind of fire and in what, what where the requirements for for fire was and and not uh, where thought could be drawn in and so again this is about keeping your thought process clean again that sword pointing away from this distorted play that is ensuing um severing things that 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 would then ground these emotions um, to an applicable force and that what worlds are driving your purpose, what worlds are you existing in and do they drive towards a, a pure intent, a pure purpose of just wanting to give life to beautiful and bountiful and healthy, wonderful things or, or do 
or do you still want to like get in the skirmish because this is and what kind of skirmish is it this isn't a skirmish that is going to give any kind of gains to life force energy so therefore as the adept um i'm going to allow my emotions to be give revered in their own essence and and approach them with reverence with that gloved hand and then i'm going to use the other hand the bare hand to draw from raw raw emotions rather than emotions that are set set for me via conditioning conditioning of self labels um media where your attention's been drawn so that two of swords comes up to clarify the um the queen of cups and so the two of swords here is where you are blindfolded the scales being held here and it's uh feeling your way through raw emotions uh working with the brain cells of the heart in 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 where listening to that and where it is to be drawn to now some people there's going to be a realization of I'm still not ready to sever that distractionary world. I'm still not ready to see it for what it is. I'm still not ready to let go of this political dream or this um, religious belief system or this uh, relationship. I'm still ready to be in the skirmish. Well, that's okay. Um, but know what it is and know that um, the adept will find their way out of that pretty soon. Uh, this might be part of your forewarning that after in the aftermath, uh, when your tower is standing in its own right, you think, damn, I knew that energy was coming and I still just had to dip my toe into it. We will do it. And so it's not, again, to slam anybody down. It is to read the energies in the pure form as they're coming forward to me in order to help you as much as as possible in in a limitless way because then you can take my words and apply them where it resonates for you to apply them or not uh so we've got on the bottom of the deck which is the underpinning energy uh the queen of wands and she sits on a throne and the queen of wands is of a a peaceful uh, stillness uh a flow and a creativity and and a bloom um that is that is of a beauty of peace she holds the sunflower which has um the meaning of of i come in peace um it's also the sun fire you know the action card but she's poised she's ready um she is a recipient of creative life force she's got a pussy cat that is literally guarding you know and this is where slang comes from is it you know the 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 female attributes that she has and and what is allowed to enter into there what is allowed <clears throat> to be given life and so this would speak to that actually the creative energies are here but she's not ever coming off her throne to join in a a five of wands with the tower energy no, no way no how um, that's not going to happen. She knows that throne would disintegrate under such energies um, very quickly and that creative life force would not be put to good use and applied to strong, powerful, wonderful things. So, you know, the, there's this energy of sitting back and, and looking and seeing where that applies to you to really um, trim the fat, you know, from from life to... Um, be able to find a way uh, to be an adept that that walks amongst the chaos and finding a way to um, get good like this page of swords to inquire, to gather information, but use that sword in, in a intentful and directional way to sever that that doesn't bring clarity that doesn't bring uh, your integrity uh, through your words, um, through your own thoughts and your own thoughts towards self always are paramount, always. And so speaking to self in that uh, powerful way. Now, these energies uh, for the empath uh, is, it's draining. We've got the four of cups on the bottom of the other deck. 
there's not much to say on this Four of Cups card, but you know, the Four of Cups sometimes on other cards is shown as this person sitting under a tree, under a whole life force, you know, surrounded by water being interpreted into life, uh, you know, the river by their feet and and this cup being given from the heavens uh, and these three of cups has the concentration of the person under the tree and this cup from the heavens which is of uh, purity which is a sense of uh, uh, untainted um, bringing in the soul you know the emotions that 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 flow um, you know down through the roots uh, you know, throughout the tree, you be in the tree, uh, the root system to the leaf system, to the branches, to, to all of the little intricacies and the rings of power, all of those things. And, and you're not being able to see it or feel it because you're looking at this um, three of cups in in a way of, oh, this is draining. What is happening? Who Who are we? What are we? What do we walk amongst? Um, and so the, there's there's something there as well to for a lot of empaths that are feeling like oh this is I can't wait to leave this plane I can't leave to wait to leave this realm well there's a certain abandonment of self there you know because you're here and to be able to see yourself as as sacred enough to be anywhere different from somewhere like here. Um, then you would have to sometimes, you know, pull up your breeches and 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 connect back to soul, connect back to pure energy. Um, uh, to be able to see that, even if it is just here, to appreciate the humming of bees. Um, or to appreciate what it's like to see a a young being born whether it's animal or 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 you know the human the the beauty of that there's there's so much to be drawn from that um that still outweighs so there's a level of of still of a connectiveness to the distraction to the play that is too much for the soul to be able to shine through um and no matter what is going around you to still feel that divine purpose uh, so there, there's that. There's some real words there for you know, for the reality of what it's sometimes like to be an empath and and not being immune to the fact that you know the the same energy is being played out for the adepts that have seen the, even in just this lifetime, to the same script to be rolled out over and over again. The same same religious sponges coming out, hovering over these so called movements, ready to up all of the you know the debris to to garner the 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 tides uh, in whatever way shape or form uh to fuel the wars uh and the divides you know that it's it's tiring it's easy to lose that connectivity for a while but it's not lost it's right there it's just veiled by distraction and confusion and so returning back to purpose, to finding that purpose, to knowing that sometimes that purpose is to just be, to hold space, to hold time in a different way that has been reflected by the many, to 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 just be here, um, to be for the bees, to to be here to nurture the plants. Uh, you know, we put so much focus because there's so much focus given through very powerful magic through media, through um, rewritten books, through influences, through this, through that, you know, all of these hypnotic things uh, that are built to get right under the rug into the subconscious, you know, it is easy to um, have that ego that is conditioned for us to have by being human, that we are superior. So if we can't find our purpose amongst the humans then then that's it we need to leave we need to go we're done you know and it's like hold on a minute don't you revere don't you love animals don't you love the sound of the waves don't you love 
even if you're just here, just to pick up litter off the beach that you love, do you not realize that that all of those grains of sand that have life force in them, that have purpose in them, all of the stones, the shells, your feet touching it, it that that is something that is huge. That is maintaining um, the beauty of this space. And without such people, this space would look like um, the depictions of hell without the shiny veneer even. You know, so those those things, those purposes that we all find are, are not nothing. And it's easy to be drawn into the I'm done. That's it. I've got no reverence from from fellow humans. I've got no space here. I'm not being listened to. Well, nature's listening to you. It listens to you the moment you touch your feet on the ground um, and and you can listen to it. Uh, and there are many other things here that are willing to listen even other humans so you know which worlds are you still involved with where you're not being able to resonate with some feeling of tribe some feeling of um belonging um it's powerful it's a powerful week uh but you know it is it is a intense week and there is that level of um also not entering into these worlds because it, it, they're downright dangerous they don't know how to wield a wand let alone a fight with them. So, you know, you're going to get burnt, uh, you know, it just being in the surrounding area of it. They don't know how to wield a sword, a wand, or, and they don't know how to wield their emotions that are controlling that wand. So, you know, it's you don't walk into that kind of space. You know, you don't, you don't go into an adept sword fight with somebody who's just picked up a sword for the first time because they they're a danger unto themselves but also you because they, they don't know any rules of engagement there's no barriers there to how how the process would ensue of, of the crossing of swords so to speak the crossing of thoughts um so you can't even speak into it as soon as you speak even the most pure words because you're speaking it into a distorted space it's they're tainted they're turned around they're twisted and that Again, that's not giving reference to your thought element, your air, uh, your words. You, you know, you know, another life force. So, yeah, I hope this helps. I hope that you can take as much from this as possible to apply to your greatness, uh, to your um growth, and to your um input here in this space and beyond. I appreciate you all. Much love, much balance and much wholeness. Check out the links in the description box below and uh, you'll find my Etsy store there and various other things if you want to read in and whatnot, how to get in touch. I appreciate you all once again. Have a fantastic week. Um, do us all a favor in the UK here and, uh, and beyond. Uh, put that energy real powerful energy um around this ritual that is gonna ensue this week this weekend come in um put that energy in the opposite directions uh whichever opposite directions they may be um for us as a a country for us as these powers that be and their stand in in the play um you know around this realm you know like do us a favor and really project that energy elsewhere um let's let's build a bridge to usurp not take energy from the distorted spaces but to uh usurp that energy frog leap over it into a different outcome different purpose um a different way we are way sure is much love much balance and much wholeness Mwah.